In this video, we're going to create some featured content and we'll also set up a slideshow to cycle through our images and at the same time respond to the window size. So we're going to create some content by going to add content, featured content, just give it a title, choose an image, Find one of me when I was younger. And we'll save that. Okay, now theoretically, if we scale down the window, the image should resize itself at our specified breakpoints. And there's one you could see. Oh, and here's a good time to note. Um, there is kind of an issue with Corolla. You'll notice it's not scaling anymore. We actually need to come over to Corolla settings and hit save configuration. Uh, and now if you refresh this page, everything will scale correctly. For some reason that just doesn't work right out of the box. You gotta do that. But now you can see our images resizing to all of our specified breakpoints. And it doesn't look great here because it's uh, meant to be in the sidebar, but I'm about to show you what that will look like. So uh, like I said in an earlier video, I actually wanna put this image in the sidebar and I'm going to create a slideshow that will automatically cycle through a few of those images. So first, I'm going to install and enable the views module, which you can find at drupal.org slash project slash views, and views slideshow, which you can find at drupal.org slash project slash views underscore slideshow. And because I'm going to use the Views Slideshow Cycle module that comes with Views Slideshow, I also need to install the Libraries module, which you can find at drupal.org slash project slash libraries. Okay, and with those installed, we're going to enable the Libraries, Views, Views Slideshow, Views Slideshow Cycle, and Views UI modules. All right, let's create the view. We'll go to structure, views, add new view. Call this featured content. It's gonna show content of type featured content. I don't wanna create a page, I actually just wanna create a block. The display format is gonna be slideshow of fields. And I'll just hit continue and edit. In the fields, I'm actually going to remove the title field. So I'll go to rearrange, choose remove, and then I'm going to add the image field. It's so going to add content featured image. I don't want to create a label. And I'm going to set the image style to featured content smart port. And if I click in the format settings for slideshow, you'll notice that. Uh, it says I need to install the jQuery cycle plugin uh, into the folder sites all libraries um, and then inside a folder called jQuery.cycle. So we're going to click this link and open it in a new tab. Then I'm going to click the download the cycle plugin. And I'll right click on cycle plugin for the, sol for the full plugin and choose save link as, or it might be called something else on your browser. I'm going to go into my website, into sites, all. I'm going to create a folder here called libraries. And then I'm going to create a folder inside of the libraries folder called jQuery.cycle. And then we'll save this file here. Okay, so if we cancel this, and then open up our settings again, we don't have that warning and everything works. I actually like the defaults uh, for now, so I'm just gonna leave those. And I'm done here, so I'll save the view. And now, uh, first, you can get a preview of what it looks like, but we need to add this block to our sidebar. So we're going to go to Structure, Blocks, and scroll down and find the block View Featured Content. Put this in the 
first sidebar or sidebar first and put it at the top so that it shows in the top of the list and save blocks. And now if we go home, we see our image there in the sidebar. And as we scale down the window size, you'll see the image actually fits in there. And now it's dropped below the content and it's taking up half of the window size. So everything seems to work. And just to demonstrate what it would look like with two sidebars, I'm actually gonna go ahead and change that. So I'll go back into blocks. I'm gonna put all these other blocks in the second sidebar. And if we go home, scale, you can see that it still works. And the cool thing is when it goes to tablet portrait, drops down below, we've got our left sidebar and our right sidebar. Um, so everything works really well. Okay. And I can even show you what this looks like on a tablet or smartphone. Just pull it up here. So this is a tablet and we can switch to portrait mode as well. You'll see the things drop down below. And if we switch to an iPhone, oops, you can see everything stacked in portrait mode. And in landscape mode, you can see them slide by slide down the bottom. So everything works exactly like we expected it to. Okay, now to see a responsive slideshow in action, we need to add at least one more photo. So I'll go to add content, featured content, add another title, and choose another picture. We'll save that. And let's go home so we don't have both pictures. But if you watch that slideshow on the left, it will just start cycling through our images. And again, it still works on uh, our mobile devices. We refresh. You can see it cycling through there. And because it's uh, automatically resizing, as we scale, not only does the slideshow continue to go, but it also resizes the images um, to the appropriate size for the window size. Okay, that's all I have. So I hope you enjoyed this series. If you're building with responsive themes, you should definitely be scaling your images to match your layout. And using the responsive images and styles module is one great way to do that. Once again, this free video series has been sponsored by the guys over at OSTraining.com. So thank you, OS Training, and thank you for watching.